Hello, this is Eric from labofcoding.com. In this video, look at how to display additional data in the admin change list pages. I am now on the blog change list page, which is listing our saved blog instances. So for now, we are only displaying the blog model fields title, date created, last modified, and is draft. But we can also display additional data, which is not necessarily a model field. So we we'll look at how to do that. So a common way to do this is usually to add a model property in your model and have that in the list display. So in this case, let's say you want to get the number that the blog ha has been active since the day it was created. That is, we'll get the difference between today and the day that it was created. So we can have a method, call it days since creation, text self, So we'll have this one as a property using the property decorator. So let's import the time zone module from the Django utils module. So ja from Django.utils import time zone. So the time zone, you can use it to get to create time zone aware or date objects. So we'll get the difference using the time zone module so you say from time zone dot now which is the same as date time dot now and then minus the day the blog was created that is self dot date created so when you minus these two dates you will return what is returned is a time delta object and the time delta object has a attribute known as days which you can use to get the number of days so diff the days will return an integer which is the difference in days between the two dates so after we've created our property we can add it to the list display and it will be added in the change list page so we can save that if we now go to the browser and refresh the blog change list page you'll find that a new column is added dates since created which is using the model property that we declared and added to the list display Another easier way of having uh, of using this functionality, instead of having this as a property in the model, we can have it in the model admin class and Django will still be happy. So we can import the the term, the util so the terms on module in the admin module and then have we can copy this one and have it um, and have it as a method in the blog admin class so we can format that properly so if you have it as a method in the blog ad in the model admin class you don't need the property decorator and this method in this case it will receive the blog instance which you can use to get the date created because in this case self is pointing to the blog admin instance so instead of self we'll say blog So we can save that and we can drop the method, uh, the pro property from the model and remove the unused import. So we can save that one. So if you go to the browser and refresh, you find that everything is still working as expected. So if, for example, you don't want the name that it's b the column name that is being added, you can use the short, des uh, the short description to change the column name. So in this case, instead of having date since creation as the na as the column name, we can add the short description and say something like this active and that will be used as the name of the column. So if we save that and we refresh, we now find that the column name is days active. So that is how you can add additional da additional columns to the change list pages which are not model fields. So that's it for now. We'll pick up from this in the next video. Thanks for watching.